Hello everyone, and welcome back to my Mountain Blade Dynasty Warriors playthrough. On the last episode, we dealt Gong Sun Tan another crushing defeat by recruiting Zhao Yun in battle. Now that Zhao Yun has joined our side, all of his fiefs now belong to us. So... Gong Sun Tan only has a couple territories left on his name. Yanmen Gate, and Fu Feng, and Hangu Gate. Only a couple places left before he's completely wiped out. And as such, I had made a trip to Korea and Japan and take those over for myself. Meanwhile, in the south, Sun Jian's army fell victim to Liu Biao's attack, and now Sun Jian has been wiped out completely. Some of his officers decided to join me, namely his son, his son's sworn brother, and his son's wife. So now I'm gonna have to go and uh, find a place to uh, put him somewhere. But I need to, but <clears throat> I need to decide on what my next course of action shall be. Right now, Liu Yan and Liu Biao hate each other. And Dong Zhuo's just kind of chilling here right now. I'm trying to decide rather to go and uh, get involved with Liu Yan and Liu Biao's battle and help one over the other. But there is this advantage in doing so as well. Because there's no telling that Dong Zhuo may attack from behind. Though I highly doubt he would, but there's still danger of that. Not to mention, uh, Liu Yan would also want to get some territories of his own. So it's going to be a a land grab thing and we have to go as quickly as possible. So there's that. Second choice I have is to attack Dong Zhuo right now while the other two are fighting. I believe that would be a more sound plan without any uh, the danger involved since those two are going to be fighting each other for a little bit. I can uh, annex Dong Zhuo's territory and we'll see what happens. Dong Zhuo himself has been really good at surviving this whole time but now now that I have chosen the path of the Conqueror, I have no choice but to remove him, for he is an obstacle. Even if he is old man Dong Zhuo, and I've had a lot of fun with him and his officers, it's time to put an end to all this. We will now attack him, I guess that will be the plan. But first things first, we need to wipe out Gong Sun Tan before he does anything weird. Let's make a trip down south and start taking these territories. Oh, I think I only need to take Hangu Gate. This is a village as well. Alright, we'll just take Hangu Gate and we'll take uh, Yanmen Gate. Once we take those two gates, Gong Sun Tan will be Kinita! Anyway, I need to go and uh, see if my buddy's around. But I guess first things first, let's go and go to the castle and uh, recruit these new recruits. These boo people. Let's see, what should I do with them? I have a couple of territories I can give them. Jiu Chen. Hope they haven't joined me yet. Ah, that's why. That's all for now. You may have heard my ill treatment at the hands of Sun Jian. Okay, I will accept. Now, Sun Te and Zhou Yu is joined. Now, I'll go get his wife, Da Chao. Okay, we will now give these people thieves. So, they're not gonna get real thieves because I'm gonna employ them in my personal army. And then I may dispatch them to do other works later, but for now. Li Chen. Jiang, what is Jiang? A castle? Oh yeah, it is. Zhangling Ba Chao. Zhangliang Ba Chao. Let me see what those territories are. I've also changed the music for this game. Again. Because this is the final stretch now. After defeating Dong Zhuo, I will be uniting the south. Oh, Ba Chao's an important territory. I'll grab some useless officer and have him patrol this area. Zhang Liang as well is a pretty important territory. Hmm. I mean, Zhou Chen itself is pretty important, but not nearly as important as the others. May have to uh, watch what I do with giving territories here. Alright, let's see if Xu Zhu is willing to join right now. 
if Xu Zhu joins, I can also give him a territory. Surrender? Let me think. Very well, I'm ready to pledge myself to you as my queen. Albeit. Okay, now that he has joined me, I can go and give him one of the thieves. I have decided on where to place these guys now. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's see here. Ba Chiao. Yu Zhu, you will now take this territory. It's a very important territory, so take care of it. Now. Teng Gao. So Yu, you will take that location. These are just standard thieves at the moment. I'll give you guys better things later. For now, I just want to give you guys something. Sun Te. I need to give Wang Zhong something. He's been following us for this whole time. But he hasn't complained because he's a good man. But I feel like I should probably reward him with something. Alright, now that that's done. I need to find someone to get, uh... Get Zhang Liang taken care of. But I can wait a little with that. For now, this important area, Ba Chiao, will now be taken care of by Xu Zhu. Good, no bandits will go near that place now. Now... We need to go and finish off Gong Sun Zan. And then we will decide rather to finish off Dong Zhuo or attack Liu Biao or Liu Yan. We'll give them this time to figure this out. Let's take a look at the faction notes actually, just in case. The current situation is as such. Liu Yan's at war, but they may end in a truce soon. They are fine, hmm, bound by truce not to attack Dong Zhuo. Hmm, interesting. For now, let's finish off Gong Sun Zan. I cannot allow him to join the battle in either side or reclaim territories. Once you fight me, you die! There is no other way around it. Anyway, let's go check up on my buddy now, now that I have done all this wonderful things. Yeah, mama, let me get my plate of food. Oh, you're fat and useless. Ooh, well, Ooh. Then that was just finished. Kinita! Alright, let's take that Hangul gate before it, someone else gets their nasty hands on it. Oh, what is this? I have 71 slots. I didn't even visit the prison and dump off these people. Let's see. Tavern, do we have a broker? Please have a broker. Broker, broker, broker. No broker. Oh. Ooh. No brokers. By the way, yes. one of my viewers says, what Kinita is, or at least what he thinks it is, from it. he asked his wife about it, and he told me that uh, that it's supposed to be I like it. Really? Yeah, I assume that's what oh. the blacksmith set means when he's playing with your weapons. I like it. Well, when someone is finished, I like that as well. So <laughs> I think it can still be used. <laughs> when someone's finished, I like that as well. All right then, <laughs> Kinita. Yes. Why were you so kinita yesterday? Because I was clearly. tired. I have to kinita. <laughs> <laughs> so I I played um. I played a uh, RimWorld, and uh, I I have a dog in there, and and look at this, look at what this fucker dog did. Oh, what did he do? In shit all over, right? Drinking beer. <laughs> yeah. Why is your dog, dog drink drinking your beer? beer? I don't know. I, I killed a raider and he dropped beer and then before any of my people could take the beer into our stockpile, the dog ran up and drank it. Drinking beer. I'm not even making this up. <laughs> yeah, I see it. I see it with my eyes. I also have a lot of pictures to show you, but I Maybe you can either later. receive them now or when you're done playing. Okay. Yeah. You have to work tomorrow? Yes, but soon I won't have to work as much. Ooh. Okay, good. Next we week I don't wine. have to. Ah. Okay, let's go finish off this bastard. I've only just picked up a whole bunch of recruits. Yuan Xiao is looting people now. Oh, what the hell is this? 
Oh my god! So, uh, you know, Japan turned out to be much, much more profitable than I thought. So you know what oh, happened oh. to me? What? I, I looked at my weekly budgets, right? You know, I see some interesting things, like 500, 800, and, 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 and then all of a sudden, tariffs from Yamatai, 82,000. 82,000? 82, 82,000. I mean... Oh, you don't have to worry about money anymore. I have a loss of 52,000 from uh, tax inefficiency, which I assume is from oh. Yamatai. But, yeah, I, I guess uh, taking Japan was very profitable. I am yeah, very wow. glad that it's under my control and I haven't given it to anyone else. Because, well, you know, it's Japan. It's my personal playground now. Yeah. I, uh, I also updated my music again and it's beautiful and it... Makes me shed a tear. Now I'm gonna go and finish off Gung Sun Zan. Yes, Commander. Yes, Commander. Ah, oh, you know, I should have given those territories that I'm about to take to uh, Sun Jian, Sun Tse. Oh well. I'm sure I can give it to him right afterwards. Jing Ji, Jing Ji, Jing Ji, Jing Ji. Oh, prosperity. I now control five major cities. They're shitting money for me, but none nearly as much as Japan itself. To siege the castle. Alright, you are the commander, way heavy rider. Now prepare the ladders. Do it now! Go and attack! Spare no one, slaughter them all. Don't kill people. These guys aren't nearly as strong as they were back when they were fighting in Kobe. Those super warriors are now wiped out. All that's left are just crap garrison. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, actually, no. There's still a couple left. I recognize that shield right away. There's two ladders in this castle! There's two ladders in this castle! There's two ladders in this castle! Ooh. Two! What the hell is this? It can't be! Only special castles I've seen have, have two ladders. What? Well, there's two in the in the uh, mod castle, the uh, castle of Yi. Yeah, but this one, this one looks like a base castle. You know, one from a native game itself, because it's got European design. And yet, here it is, with two ladders! What in the hell? But is that a good thing for you or a bad thing? Oh, that's a wonderful thing! That's a beautiful oh, thing! Look, man, for the longest time I've had trouble with shield troops standing by one door and guarding it. So, basically, anyone who comes in gets grind up. But now with two, my units can attack in two directions at once. Well, oh wait, it's still the same direction, but they can attack in two places at once. Rather than at just one place where they get choked to death. Still, the problem with this is that the uh, castle is actually really weak, so I can take it even without two ladders. But still, there's two ladders! Another word. Kinita. Kinita, indeed. <laughs> there are some Bobe warriors here though, so I have to make sure I chop them up first, even if there is two entry points. You can never be too safe when it comes to these sieges. Ouch. Boy. And these guys hit hard. Holy crap. I'll be back up I'm done feeding. I'm like, I'm dying! I took 
Oh my god! Ah, I've got an axe sticking on my heart! Ah! I, oh wait, is it in my heart or in my head? What the hell? I gotta get out of here. I nearly died from that. Oh my god, let's assess the damage. It's right in my face! Oh, dear lord! Yeah, I've got a serious wound here. <laughs> I'm taking pictures of this. Do it at a place that is brighter. All right. I think you guys have enough. Attack! Archers, stay back! Don't think I didn't see you doing this treachery, crossbowman! Archers, come in! Charge in and kill them all. Matal killed another dude. Chu Yun killed another dude. All right, they're butchering everyone inside this keep. Battle one. Okay. Seize this territory then. Oh no, wait, there's still last defense. Let's go! Yam Yang Wintel subjugation time! Yeah, throw rocks against archers. We'll see how far you go. <laughs> Jump on this table. Now you have no choice but to go on the other side. Oh wait, you... oh, oh. Yam Yang Wintel! Finish them off. Come on, Yang Liang, go slash this man! Oh, my face! Yeah, we just disrupted their feast, killing every one of them. Let's see, hubby skirmisher, hubby militia, footman. Yeah, I'll get footman. Way skirmisher, way archer, peasant woman. Besiege the castle. Zhang Fei, surrender! Oh, you will not surrender? Oh, now I will have to siege you then. Attack! All units stationed here. Infantry, get their attention. Archers, come up. Cavalry, third line. Hmm. 
Got a lot of dudes with shields here. Yang Yang Wang Zhong, all scoring kills. Come on! I dare you fight me! That's right, the moment you let down your guard is when you get shot! Come on! I challenge you! <laughs> Die! Yes, this castle's a slaughter for the enemy. Send in more enemies, I shall feast upon them. <laughs> oh, I see our deaths. Come on. Come on, try to slash me. I'll break your shield. Shield breaker slash. Oh, let down your guard. All units to the slaughter. Charge! Now, let's kill those archers below. God damn it! Oof, that's nasty. Put up your shields and advance! Get fucked. Good, there's no one left in this castle. Kill them all. Victory is ours! I have to put some officers here. Ah, man, I should have just given those places to, uh... To those Wu recruits that I just picked up. Oh, well, maybe I can, uh, get some Gongsu Zan recruits and put them there instead. Alright, Yang Liang Winto, subjugate them! Made the right call, having Yang Yang and Wen Chou serve as my personal guard. Qi Liang, horseman, Wei infantry, Wei archer, Wei skirmisher, Alright boys, we're leaving, let's go. I have to give this sweet on him. The castle that I got earlier to another lord down the line. For now, we'll just leave it uncontrolled for the time being. I have to get some new lords. Let's see. I mean, these are forward bases. I don't want people to get captured too soon. Alright, you four, I am very generous. So, if you were to join me, you get a castle. <clears throat> if you don't join me, you die! Simple, right? What matter do you have? 
me think. Or I am ready to join. Alright. Join? Good, I thought they would all join, even without having to use surrender or go to dead. They've been in prison for how long now? Now, let's go and place these people somewhere. These two are very dangerous bases, so I'll just let these sacrifices to go and uh, defend that area. Akadan, you get this? Good. Now these four losers have four loser territories. I am so nice, now they won't be homeless. Alright, now... I should go check up on where Zouyu and the others are. I'm gonna personally invite them to join my army. Sunta! I need you to join us! Okay, I will G on you. Alright, let's stop wasting time. I would love to find... Oh, what is this? Aijun is a castle that does not... Gate was just taken. Well, well. Take Daijun, let's go. Besiege the castle! Prepare the ladders. Alright, let's take this castle. All men, forward! Hold on here. Let's see what's a good location to lay siege here. They're landing good shots here. I need people to get ready to shoot them from the entrance of that castle. Alright! Archers! Here! Infantry! Up here! Cavalry! Up here! Now, I will go into the castle and ascertain its situation. See shield people. Throwing axes at fools. All right, come on. Wait, I can shoot him in the knee! Your knee is exposed! Take this! Damn it. here cuz I can't keep it up much longer ah I'll use this tree to see myself
little higher. Can I hit him? Maybe I just can't hit him in that angle? We're still shooting, but... Maybe the wall's eating the shots. Ha! Ah, yes, I thought the walls were eating the shots! If I ever were to get hit, I would probably die. But I will not give up until you die! Not too high? Shit. Got him! I believe the time to attack is now. Let's go! Nope! Final shot. It was a hit. Now, attack! Get up there, get up there. Man, this castle is kind of tough. They have all those uh, Hebei warriors and such. I wonder if they can punch through it. Well, Ma Chao and Yang Niang is already scoring kills, so maybe it wouldn't be so bad. Sun Te also killed. Good. These guys are doing well. They're chopping their way in. Yang Yang knocked unconscious. Watchman killed by Wang Zhong. Get in there! Chop him up! Guan Yu, let's go! and people sh throwing shit down. Now they're throwing at me! This guy is confused as well. Meanwhile, the horde is just chopping up people over there. I have no arrows. This sucks. Wait. Oh, these are 
just axes. Ugh, fuck it. Axes. Come on, give me some ammo. Oh. Ah, worse yet, I just lost my bow. Okay, well, forget it then. Let's just go. I mean, it's only these four guys. And one dude hiding over there somewhere. Let's go find him and chop him up. Come on, let's go. Let's find this guy and chop his ass up. There he is! Get up there to that battleman and chop him up! Yeah, there we go. A whole stream of people are going there to chop them up now. Yeah, teach their asses a fucking lesson. Arloon, the tankiest man alive, scores another. Sword sister. Dude, a crossbowman. Alright, this castle is ours, but first, we need to go and crush any remaining resistance. Yum yum, one toe, it's that time again. Gong Shun Swan escaped, Zhang Fei escaped. Replenish our numbers by using this castle. Xi Liang, veteran rider, footman, horseman, skirmisher, Hebei warrior, Hebei elite rider. I don't need these prisoners. Get them out of my sight. Look, loot. Sail them all. And give it to someone later. Alright, continue our march. We will now finish off Gung Sun Zan in his final fortress at Yanmen Gate. What are these? Zhao Yun. Cao Pao. Zhong He. Wu Si. Zhao Yun. Yes, my lady? And not regression victory. Hey, listen, what are you, you guys doing? Scaling the area around Fei Chen. However, circumstances switched since then uh, on campaign. All right, let me ask you something. The location of someone. Where is Da Chao? Da Chao's in the field and should be close to Yun Zhong at the moment. What are these men following me for? Look at Zhao Yun though, he's already acting like... Word reaches you that local notables from Fongling, a village claimed by Dong Zhuo, has been mistreated by their overlords from the Chen and the petition and petition Dong Zhuo for protection. You don't know if it's true, but you do know one thing, that seeming miners and their raised passion amongst Dong Zhuo make it easier for them to go against the Chen if they want it. Hmm, if they go against us, they will crush them. Easy. Yanmen Gate, let's go! Zhao Wen, surrender! Ah! As I thought, you wouldn't surrender. Alright, let's take the 47 hours and siege this place. Yu Piao, Liu Yan, and made peace. Two Liu's have made peace. Oh. My meeting has concluded. Excellent. Han Sui has joined Dong Zhuo. 
Tá aí, até com o Remworld. Rem. Tchim-tchim, 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 tchim-tchim. Get my dog drunk. I must have more prosperity. Before I go to my next war, I need to make sure that I am ready for it. Oh, I'm already ready to attack these fucking walls. Why didn't you tell me, stupid game? Let's go! Out of the peril. Let's see, we'll take this hill. Peril. This is the final battle against Kung Soon Zan. Let's have some epic music play. Take this hill. Cavalry, sit back over here. Now I too will snipe. So, are all the lords in Gekukujo lacking uh, their first names? Yeah, they all just have four. Very, very shameful. Rain down the arrows on them. Crush their last resistance. We will bury them right here in this fucking castle. This castle shall be their gravestone. Attack! Dare throw axes at me? I'll throw my damn sword down your throat! Die! Choke on this arrow and go to hell! Go to hell. Die! Headshot does not kill people these days, they're so tough. In this mod, people seem to be a lot tougher than normal. It could be the armor they're wearing. Because I know I, I also take less damage as well. The armor in this game is really thick. It seems like it's closer to the base game than Gekko Kujo. Yeah, yeah. From what I understand, Gekko Kujo, people tend to uh, wear less armor, they don't even use shields, they, they're they just like yeah. a whole bunch of homeless people with swords. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's, I think, very accurate. <laughs> Headshot does not kill people. It's ridiculous. Normally, you know, you get an arrow to the eye or something, you you fall over and you pass away. But then again, Xiao Dun didn't pass away. But then again, that's also China, not Japan. I guess people are just tougher there. <laughs> so you're telling me in Japan, duels could be subtle in one slash, one or two yeah, slash. <laughs> But there's no dueling, remember? Yeah, but I mean like in just fighting in general. Yeah. When I use my little mace, I, I just one shot Little things. mace? <laughs> yeah, it's my, uh, you know, big stick of jailing. But you just said it was little. <laughs> you know. When someone says, say hello to my little friend. Ha! Ah, okay. The okay, little yeah, friend saying. is most likely a... It's a big friend! friend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You understand? I understand. <laughs> Excellent. Oh man. No! I just saw an axe went into my face. Though so this time it didn't stick like it did before. Alright, this is quite enough. I have to back off now. Even with heavy armor, I can't stick around like this for long. Yeah, these guys hurt like a bitch! Recruited already, you damn prisoner. You, I keep you warm. You have a room with AC, and yet you keep not AC. Warm me. Yes. You just said you keep them warm with AC. What the fuck? Well, uh, no, I have uh, a room with an AC, and there's a heater in there. So uh -huh. I always keep it at a nice 21 degrees Celsius. <laughs> I should send you some of the songs I have in this game that I just uh, put in. They're really good. And I'll give you this song that I'm playing right now. Just uh, remind me that TeamSpeak give me a memory. 
the fuck? Raiders have arrived with drop pods and now seek to attack me, igniting my wind turbines and attacking my power conduits with no more with arrows. Rifle. All units attack! Slaughterize them! Slaughterize, slaughterize, slaughterize! There's only one ladder to go up. Crafted. I have to go to war. Crafted as well. Tell kill people. Soon to kill people. Oh, are you? And soon to kill three. Oh, and then he got shot down. Tell killed. Shot, shot down. Step out of the way! Don't push me down! What the fuck? What kind of assholes pushed their lord down? Don't do it again, don't do it again. Your lord needs to get up there to fight. Lord and Savior? Yes. Knife there all day? Come on! Shield guy block the attacks! Now it's your turn! The good thing I have one of those Hebei warriors on my side now. Their shield is tough and their melee is dangerous. Instead of capturing him, you go and bury. Your pet dog. Enemy sighted! Yam Yam Winto, let's go! Attack! <laughs> nice work, Yam Yam Winto. So glad to have these guys on my side. Jing Zhao Wen. All right, now let's recruit losses back into our army. Zhang Fei, you dare attack our farmers? Are you fucking serious? Crush him! Zhang Fei is by himself. Oh. Divided by zero. Never mind. Zhang Fei is not even there. 
So now it divided by zero. <laughs> well, actually, let's see if that'll work. I see a shiny ass man over there. It could very well be Zhang Fei himself, but. Yep, it's Zhang Fei himself. Ugh! Capture that shiny ass man! Thank you for your help! You saved our lives out there! Stop! I yield! I'm very shiny! You are my prisoner now! I bet your mercy! Alright, we captured that shiny ass man. Now let's talk to him. What matter do you have? You don't surrender. I'm ready to pledge myself to you as my queen. Na 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 na. Alright, good. I was just thinking about who to assign to Yanmen Gate. Zhang Fei should probably do it. Oh, well, it seems like the what happened to Yamatai was a one-time thing. I now get 2,000 rather than that 30,000 that I got earlier. Meanwhile, I'm paying out of my ass for tax inefficiency. Ugh. Alright, one of my vassals a thief. Yanmen Gate to the north needs to be defended. Dong Fei, this is an important task. Do not screw this up. Or this will happen to you. Perfect. Okay. Alright. I've recently gotten 17 strength, so let's use Lu Bu's halberd. Fong Tian Waji. Yes, my lady. You won't regret your decision. You can give Joe Tren to me. You can count on me to protect it. What is your bidding? I need to join us. Are you sure? Okay, I will cheat on you. Now I sucked her up into my party. Let's go. Now would be a good chance to take a look at their stats. How the fuck were they able to shoot me there? Ah, Chow, your stats is... You're level 45. You're not even maxed out. Your strength is 20, 17 agility, 30 int, 25 char charisma. Well, it seems that women in... Oh, but she has Pathfinding oh, 9! Man. Oh my lord, Pathfinding 9! No wonder she was traveling so fast. I'm so glad that she's now in my party. So yeah, women are weaker than the men, but it makes perfect sense, but still. She's only level 45, and she does have Nerf Pathfinding 9, so I'm glad she's in my party, but she's weaker than the other lords I have. That said, let's take a look at Sun Tzu's skills. Level 50, 93 health, 46 strength, 46 agility, 46 charisma. Oh ho ho ho, look at those stats. Seven power strike, I'd already need. Nine power ship. Very good, Sun Tzu. Let's take a look at Ma Chao while we can. Your skills? Riding 7, Power Strike 7, 9 Leadership. Yeah, I feel like these guys are better on the field than serving as my personal bodyguards, but oh well. Wu Zhang Plains. Alright. Kingdom of Gongsun is no more. Now let's go hunt down Zhou Yu, recruit him into the party, and then move out. Or better yet, maybe not. We'll let him fight for a bit, and then recruit him. Because he's at Dong Zhuo's territory, he could be put to use. Hmm. I'm just looking at the regular patrols in my land, and it's really threatening looking. There's so many people running around in my territory right now. If there's a war ever broke out, 
let's just say things are gonna get really nasty. All right, let's return to Su Chang, see if anybody has signed up for work, and then assign him to a castle. Jesus Christ, another patrol party. <laughs> oh my god. Hmm, no one has signed up for work. I guess I would have to go and capture some people and make them go to work. Let's see here. Bandits? <laughs> Does a bandit group really need that many people to fight it? Apparently so. 428 versus 26. <laughs> I guess they'll be fit to test out my Liu Bu's halberd on them. All lords, attack! Of course, also would be knocked out, okay. Die! <laughs> this is one bloody ass halberd. To see you here, let's give them heaven to our victory. Wild boar self tamed. Did it again. And the wild boar just decided to become part of my colony. Self tamed. Yeah, I don't even know how that's supposed to work. But pulling frag grenades. I pressure took one of my guys' frag grenades, but that also sounds pretty really dangerous. A great victory, Osu Lok Chun, isn't it? I'm glad to fought by your side. Let's discuss matter to our household. Inventory. Uh, uh. Inventory. Doing inventory right now with my husband to get a feast started. After all, I did say that after I conquered Northern Lands and Japan, I would go and have a party. I'll do that first, and then we will go to war. Anyway, that's the content of our larder. Yes. I must well ask you to join me. I have a new task for you. Follow me. Alright, I will do that. That way, if I buy more stuff, you can put it... Larder. Xiao Dun and all of his minions immediately follow me. Oh, look at that. There's a prisoner here. Edi Zhang Chen. Take him. Now, let's go to the marketplace. See, there's a wonderful food here. Chicken, chicken, chicken. Pork. Roots, chickens, and porks with you. We're going shopping, husband. Lots of work to do. Dragging you around to do shopping. Alright, that's the content of our larder. Alright, now let's go to Beiping and take inventory there as well. Oh yeah, Zhang Chun. Hmm. Would you like to surrender? Very well. I'm ready to pledge myself to you. Excellent. I'll have to give you a castle soon. Which one should I give you? Do 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 do
I like how I have my husband and his entire army follow me as I do shopping. Alright, we'll buy some ale, some extra bread. This place is kind of poor, so I guess I'll have to go to eat. Oh. Hey, the stupid pop idol finally decided to join my group. Pop idol? What the hell? Yeah, this escape pod crashed on my near my colony, and out came this really badly hurt, useless pop woman. Idol. Okay. Who useless used to be woman. a pop idol, and you know what being a pop idol did to her? What? Incapable of dumb labor, cleaning, hauling, plant work, and mining. <laughs> so essentially of no use whatsoever. Well, normally yes, but she has some of the highest social skill of 13, so she'll be useful for recruiting other prisoners. And she has an artistic skill of 15, which is uh, Planet Class Master. Planet Class Master? Yes, so she has her uses. So art, you will be art number one. Doctor one party. Two. Two part one. Not handle animals, you'll get yourself killed. Lug your ass around to buy more food. But I think I bought all the food in this that this place has to offer. Wait, wait, my husband, I still have to give you more stuff. Yes. I oh, gotta stuff. dump more chicken and pork that I have bought. We must feed our people and turn them into Teroxes. All right, I have prepared a whole bunch of stuff for a feast. Just a whole bunch of stuff. But I changed my mind. I don't think I will host a feast right now. I think I will take over Dong Zhuo's forces, and then I will do so. Dun, 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 dun. Yes, indeed. Look at all these people running around. I should go and give this guy a castle now that I think about it. I've almost forgotten all about him. Look at him, just standing in my castle, all sad and stuff. Let's see. I'll give you Jiang. It's an important post. So, take care of it. Jiyang is a place that leads directly to Korea and Japan. It must be protected. Your task begins now. Alright, let's see. What should I do next? Taking a look at this map. Dong Zhuo's territory is now smaller than mine. For obvious reasons. I mean, I did take over Korea and Japan. And I also took a good chunk of Gong Sun Zan's forces. Most of these now belong to me. And now there is Liu Yan and Liu Biao, both big factions. So if I'm to make a headway into this campaign, I should take down Dong Zhuo as my next target. And then I'll be greater than the other two kingdoms, who are currently bigger than me. Well, actually no, maybe we're about the same size. We're about the same three kingdom size at the moment, but I want to take down Dong Zhuo to continue. All right, let's go back to Xu Chang and prepare some supplies and get ready. All right, that's all the food in the larder we'll ever need for quite a while. For quite a while. Quite, quite, quite a while. Quite a while. Go to the former capital of Lok Yurang and see what's there.
Hmm, the old capital looks pretty beautiful, actually. And it's good to actually not fight for a bit and actually enjoy the scenery. This mod actually added some really beautiful scenery here. Ah. Still can't wait for Gekko Kujo, though. Yes. I have to visit a town in Gekko Kujo and look as well. But, I have to say, this city looks absolutely beautiful. Oh -ho. Worthy of the Han capital. Oh, and then there's a Buddhist temple over there. How's life here? We're not doing too badly, ma'am. We count our blessings. What's the rumor around here? Or anything interesting? Lok Yurn, our town and the surrounding lands belong to Lord Zhao Yun of Chen. He does a whole bunch of stuff. Bong Sao Min. Buy pottery. Very cheap at Jamning. Arts table, alright, let's do that. Use... Poker's table. Oh yeah, do I ever have a land here? I don't. Alright, it's time to buy a land for productive enterprise. 52. Alright, this is a very modest land, but you know what? Food is always important. We'll buy it. Well, actually, let me take a look at the castle, see if it's as good as the rest of the city. Oh, there's a big... There's a big table to feast. It's way too European, but oh well. Alright, now that I've scouted the territories of Dong Zhuo, I'm getting ready to go to war against him. I believe he is the best target now. Attacking him first is probably most ideal, because he's the weakest now among all the powers. There's only four powers left. There is Liu Yan the southwest, and then there is Dong Zhuo the northwest, me at the northeast, and Liu Biao the north. Uh, southeast. So Liu Yan seems to be the strongest faction because of all his uh, weirdly placed territory. I don't think Liu Biao would appreciate his, him being there, so I think these two might come to blow soon after the truce is over. Now, if I could strike down Dong Zhuo before any weird things happen, I should be able to be on my way to claim this land in its entirety without any more further problems. Let's see, Dong Zhuo's been pretty good at survival, I mean, at first he had a lot of land, but then he was reduced to a few scattered castles, but now he's back again. I mean, besides these few missing territories, he's done pretty good for himself. He's also taken Peng Chengguo over here as well. So, I feel like if I were to leave him alone, him being the resourceful bastard that he is, will probably find a way to get back. So, while we're, you know, kind of related and all that, I think it's time to put an end to this. I'll have him serve me instead. That'll make perfect sense. Sorry, Granddad, but your era is over on the next episode of my Mountain Blade Dynasty Warriors playthrough.